What's up guys? So my name is Mighty Midget. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here. It's completely free and it would really, really help me out. Anyways, let's get into this video. What's up guys? So today is all about mods. Let's talk about the mods I have on my Yamaha R3. Now, if you haven't seen already, I did a review video literally recently. That will be already out on the channel. You can go check that out. I went into a mad amount of depth uh, on that video all about this 2015 Yamaha R3, which you can obviously see isn't stock. I'm gonna have to try and do this video reasonably quickly. I'm still gonna go as much detail as I possibly can, but as you can see, the sun is starting to go down. We're losing a bit of light, so let's crack into this. I'm also gonna talk about some other mods um, that I haven't actually put on the bike and some mods I've wanted to do on the bike that I never got round to. Um, this is my 2015 Yamaha R3. Now, you may ask, why did I spend £3,000 on a Yamaha R3, which is a learner bike there out in America. Well here, to be on this, I had to ride already for three years. Well, you don't have to, but I had. I had ridden since I was 16. 17 upgraded to a 125, which if you are an also subscriber, you'll recognize this place as the place I did my uh, review video for my KTM Duke. That will also be linked down in the description. And then uh, after having that for two years at 19, I could upgrade to an A2 license, which is you're only allowed a bike that has 47 brake horsepower. And I chose this, a Yamaha R3. Do I regret it? No, not at all. This bike has been amazing. And um, it was a bike I wanted to uh, learn to work on and learn the ins and outs of bikes and uh, just really make my own. And that's what I've done with this bike. I made a whole series, a build series. There's nothing like Motonocities because I don't have that kind of budget. But I did make a, a, a series of, um, uh, of, of customizing this bike. So if you want to see all the parts individually before I even put them on the bike, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, it'll be linked down in the description as a playlist. You can watch all the videos over there. But this is the final product. I am officially done with this bike. So let's start off and get into some of the details. Now, one of the main things you'll notice is obviously this rim tape. At nighttime, it looks awesome. Going around, having them flashing about looks really, really cool. This is probably going to be the last bike I ever put rim tape on. I put rim tape on my KTM Duke, and now I've done it on my R3, and if I'm honest, it's more of a pain in the ass to do. Trying to line them all up and keep them stuck down. When, when you change the weather like it is in the UK, where it gets really hot and they get really cold, they expand and shrink, and it, it, they end up starting to peel off, which you may notice some of them already are. It's a pain in the ass, super gluing them back down all the time, so. I don't really recommend them. They're not super expensive, but, they do make the bike look pretty darn cool. Now, I know the bike may look like it's sponsored by RNG, which is um, mainly a crash protection uh, 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 product, but uh, I'm really not. I wish I was, but I'm really not. But let's go into details on what R3, um, what RNG protection I do have. We have front fork protectors. We have underneath here, we have the radiator cover and the headers cover. We have left engine case, right engine case cover, uh, sliders, swing arm sliders or protectors, RNG tail tidy, uh, RNG bar ends. I think that's all the RNG. I think that's all of it. It will be all linked down in the description, uh, all the mods. I think it's over 40 mods on this bike. If you want to go check them out, 
they'll all be down in the description and if you go to the playlist you'll be able to link on some of them uh, and buy them for yourself so let's carry on um oh i found one more rng kickstand shoe the kickstand's a little bit dirty so <laughs> ignore that um let's go on with these shorty levers because i didn't actually install these i bought the bike with them cheap chinese ones buy them off ebay they adjust and stuff looks good with the black and the red but what you'll find with these uh, CNC metal stuff is when the sun gets to them for a while, they start to fade a different colour. Same with my R3 uh, little brake reservoir cover, that started to fade. While we're here, let's talk about the RAM mount. Everyone's got to have one of these for sat-navs or phones. They're really, really useful. I've just bolted it straight through there. Some people may bolt it through there, but obviously I've got this, which we'll talk about in a minute. You may have to use a different bolt because the one you get uh, is too long, I think. So... But yeah, yeah, this RAM mounts are awesome. They'll be linked down in the description. Also, with heated grips, I can't live without them. I love them two bits. The ones with these are really good because you'll have 30%, 40%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So it's not like on and off where you're going to burn your hands all the time or off where it's not going to do anything. You can get the right settings for what you want. I normally bang it on about 50. Um, if it's really cold, 75. 100 will just burn your hands. It's too hot. Uh, everywhere else, it just keep it if it's just a normal day kind of thing you may find if you've watched the review video i'm a bit repetitive uh that's just because i went into depth on that video quite a lot i went in a bit too much um so i apologize for being a bit uh repetitive but let, let's carry on we have this black tinted uh windscreen which if we go around this side actually is like a purpley color or reddish purpley it, it looks it suits the bike um, this side it's black, but when the sun goes onto it, it goes to like a, a reddy purple. It looks really cool. Mirrors, I do actually have the mirrors on at the moment. They're not the best of mirrors. I did want to swap them, but I could never find ones that really I like. So I ended up getting the RNG blank plates to take off the mirrors, which are over there. If I'm honest, I wouldn't go with them. I would go with a cheap Chinese brand or something because they cost like 30 quid for those little plastic things they're it's not worth it if i'm honest but i had to match all the rng stuff because i'm like that one really big mod is the vortex clip-ons these made a hell of a difference to the bike they're not too hard to fit they're pretty easy um you have to drill the holes in to fit the the switch gear back all on but apart from that they're really not that hard these are the seven degree drop ones so they made the bike so much sportier and a little bit wider where i've set them as well so the handling just became just 10 times better than what it was stock stock you're sat upright like not as much as a a supermoto but you are it, it doesn't feel like a, a super sport at all um more like a like a cruiser or a a sports tourer a sports tourer is part kind of the position you're sat in this having those uh, vortex clip-ons you really are in more of a sporty mode add in some rear sets and you're spot on you can also get a custom seat i never got a custom seat unfortunately uh that was one mod that i did plan on getting but never got around to it let's talk about this savage steering stabilizer this is awesome to have especially if you do a lot of motorway stuff we all, what you'll find with this bike is because it's so lightweight going on the motorway you'll get or, or the highway for you americans you'll get blown around all the time and it can be quite daunting it's quite scary sometimes so hitting this on maximum you're so much more stable it, it really does make a difference also good if you do wheelies when you come back down you're not going to get tank slappers and stuff and uh, if you do long uh, twisty roads turn up a little bit if you've got tight stuff turn it right down spot on it really does a good job and this one the savage one's about 100 quid the olean ones are a little bit more expensive but yeah it, it, it's it is gold um i actually wanted it in gold i think it looked quite cool it standard out um but obviously it doesn't match any of the bike but i liked it um what else have we got actually here's one that i did want to do so let's talk about brakes because in the review video i talked about the brakes and i uh, i don't like the brakes in this bike uh, and one thing i wish i had done is upgraded those calibers to a brembo caliber brembo caliper which you can do um not too difficult either you get a little tiger uh performance uh mounting bracket 
and then get some Brembo's um, the actual caliber will fit on. I also wanted to swap out the disc brakes because it's only a single on the front and a single on the back but I wanted to get some better ones uh, just to make the brakes better. Also wanted to get some braided brake lines but unfortunately my budget wasn't a lot of money and I never got round to it which sucked. It really did because th that's one thing this bike could really do with is some better brakes. We got these mini indicators on if I'm honest, I wouldn't recommend them just because they are so small. They really do shine up. If I start the bike up, or turn the ignition on at least, and show you, they do light up really nicely, but they're just so ditty, especially the rear ones. When you put a, a number plate on, the UK size number plate almost blocks them off. You can still see it, but it almost covers the, uh, half of the uh, indicator, which isn't great. What else have we got? We have a keyless uh, fuel tank. Um, I actually just preferred the look of this one. Uh, that's why I swapped it out. Uh, and it also blacked out because the stock one's silver. A black one really changes the look of the bike and makes, makes it look good. I did want to get a carbon fiber um, fairing piece here, but uh, I would have had to order it from Thailand and uh, like it takes a while for them to come round so instead I just got a carbon fibre tank pad with the R3 logo on which actually looks really really good I really like it um, probably one of my favourite looking mods to the bike as well as the rim tape um, let's talk about these Area 22 rear sets now unfortunately these rear sets um, they're not adjustable and they haven't made the bike any more sportier. They didn't lift it up or anything um, Which kind of sucks which but but it also meant that the price of them was a lot less than the other ones I was looking at I was looking at some other ones and they were about three to four hundred quid um, Which was just too expensive where these were a hundred quid and I've also got area 22 parts on my Honda Grom and I love them they're 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 awesome so that's why I went with them. They are black and red. They match the bike perfectly. And with the rim tape, if I just show you, with the rim tape, they just that rear end just there looks awesome. I just remembered I've also got an RNG shock tube right there. That was another RNG part. We also blacked out these pegs, the passenger pegs, as you can see. Um, if you watch the build series, you know I uh, had a little trouble with these, which you can go find out. But yeah, they're... Uh, they make the bike. As I said, the whole bike I tried to black out. Black and red was kind of the colour scheme apart from the, the gold uh, steering stabiliser. And I think I did a pretty good job. We'll talk about all these silver fairing bolts in a minute because I did want to change them. And I've also just noticed the RNG tank grips as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go to this rear hugger right here. This is, not many people notice it. Um, but it's, it's one mod that should come on all of R3s because it changes the look of the bike completely. You may see this little bronze colour here. I've just changed the, uh, put some new brake pads on and they were bronze. So that's why that looks a bit weird. They're not rusted or anything. Um, but yeah, this, this rear hugger, it matches the swing arm colour perfectly. And if I can link this one down in the description, I will. Because honestly, my indicator was bent upwards then. <laughs> um, honestly... That is probably one of the, my, my favourite mods. It really did make the bike look completely different. And I think it looks awesome. You can hardly notice it. Uh, like it doesn't look, it looks stock. And it should be. And yeah, it, it looks awesome. I love it. We have, um, I think it's JT Sprocket and Chain. Uh, all gold. It's hard to tell in this light. But it looks a beautiful gold. I'll see if I can get some pictures of that as well. Because they look lush. Um... We also added a block off plate because obviously I fitted the M4 Street Slayer exhaust and I added some new headers as well because with the M4 exhaust you have to cut the headers here, the stock headers, getting rid of the, cat, uh, the catalytic converter and then that basically acts as a full system almost. Um, but I wanted to save even more weight so I got a new, some new headers, some lighter headers and added an M4 exhaust. No baffling, and it sounds awesome, and made a huge weight reduction. I did, before I had that exhaust, I had a, a, an Acroprovic slip-on when I first bought the bike, which didn't sound bad, but it didn't sound great either. It didn't have that meatiness that this one has. And honestly, if you want an exhaust for your R3, 
get the M4. It's a bit deeper than the other ones, I think, the Akropovic and stuff. They sound a little bit too high-pitched, in my opinion, um, on the R3. This sounds a little bit deeper, and personally, I think it sounds awesome. I've done a whole video on that with a high-definition recorder. You can go check that out, but I will start up the bike in a minute, don't you worry. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. They're absolutely tiny. I'll see if I can zoom in. We have some carbon fiber tire valve covers right there. They're tiny little things. They were nice and cheap. Um, but they, that's another little mod on the bike. Um, so yeah, we also flash tuned the bike with FTECU. I won't go into that too much, but it basically de-restricted the bike. We have the solo seat cover, just adds a little bit it makes the, the the rear end look a little bit sleeker and uh we're really starting to uh get, get dark here so i'm gonna need to speed up <laughs> the only problem with this seat cover in my opinion is that it does this it's got quite a lot of movement especially at the back look at that it is cheap ebay stuff but yeah it's I, I, I was scared as well that I wasn't be able to, it wouldn't color match, but it color matches perfectly, so you've got nothing to worry about. The bike is data tagged, which is awesome. Um, and I think that's all of it. I think I've got into all of it. If not, as I said, it will be linked down in the description. Let's talk about tires. The stock tires, or the tires that I had on first, um, I can't remember the make, but they, they weren't bad. Um, I never had a really scary moment with them. Um, and I went, I did all twisties with them, uh, got rid of the, the chicken strips completely on them. They were actually really good tyres, but as soon as it started to get cold and uh, the tyres started to wear, I thought, well, I'm going to have to upgrade a little bit. And I got some Diablo Rosso 2s. And these tyres are awesome. If you can get these for your R3, I really do recommend them. At least the, the Diablo 2s, because... They they grip in the wet, in the dry, anything. They are so, so good tyres. Um, they are a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. It really is. I think that's everything. And uh, as I said in my R3 video, my review video, which again, will be linked down in the description. You can go check it out. This bike has been amazing. And unfortunately... I'm coming to the time that I want to upgrade, not because this is too slow, I could live with this for the rest of my life, I really could. It's the perfect bike here in the UK. It may be a, a step too slow for you Americans because you've got big open roads and you can have anything and knowing you can have that more power, you get addicted to it. Trust me, I know. Riding my friend's bigger bikes like the SV650 and the KTM, um, you get addicted to that power. I just, I, I always get to this time where it's about a year's time, and I've had this over a year now, uh, that I get not bored of the bike, but almost having the same bike, uh, y y y y I, I just want to change, that's all it is, I just want to change, but if I could, if I had enough money to keep this bike, I really would, I, I absolutely adore it, and whoever's going to have it have next, uh, best stay in touch with me, because it is such a good bike. I've absolutely loved this thing. I've just noticed another RNG chink uh, guard right here. You can't really see it. Uh, it's down there. It's hard with this camera and the tripod. Oh, we also got the k and air filter and oil filter. They always do make a difference. I honestly swear by them. So um, there's that. Um, I think that's all the mods. I will now start it up for you guys, because I know that's what you want to hear. But uh, thank you for watching. If you are new in this first video you've ever seen from me, my name is Mighty Midget, I make motorcycle videos, I have a Yamaha R3, a Honda Grom, and an AJP PR4. That all might be changing very soon though. Um, and yeah, if you are new, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free and only takes you about two seconds. It's the red button down there, just go ahead and click it, it's, you've got nothing to worry about, it's all free. Uh, and it really, really helps me out. So, now, let's start up the beast.
she's pretty loud i'm not gonna lie oh it really gets to me i have to say when i had it popping and crackling um when i didn't take the i think it's the ais box or something like that um and having the bike backfire it did sound awesome it's not good for the bike but it did sound good i'll see if i can throw some clips in at the end oh guys i really love this bike i really have but before i go i want to talk about some old mods uh that i never put on the bike but i did buy so let's do that real quick right so down here this is the uh ais box i believe that's the the block off bit and then the tube goes in there you basically put a new block off plate uh that doesn't have this tube uh blocks off that bit and then uh have a little tube that goes on the end of where that's connected that oh, that little tube bit there this was actually what happened to my stock rear sets the oem ones actually were so um loctited on that we had to get a drill to get them off and we had to do that to them <laughs> it was a pain in the ass to get them off that's the stock seat now i have to say one thing about this seat is that's where the toolbox is which is quite handy but it weighs a ton taking that off and taking the passenger pegs off in the mirrors you save a lot of weight trust me if you can change that seat if you want to save weight next thing an r6 throttle tube now i never actually fitted this to my bike i'm not really sure why i i had think i had to get some different um cables i'm not i can't quite remember but i never fitted this but i might be giving it to uh one of my friends with an mt07 but you can fit one of these onto your r3 there's threads on uh, the internet on google that talk about having one of these on the bike it basically just uh makes so you have a quick action throttle so you don't have to twist it as far which is nice to have bit uh, bit good for the uh, acceleration as i said those are the block of plates that is a cnc black brake reservoir um i actually just ended up sharpieing mine in just because, as I said, I never got round to doing the brakes. Um, but if I did, that was one of the mods I was going to do. Those right there are the uh, black fairing bolts. Now, I was going to change every single fairing bolt on this bike to black to make it match and look good. But never got round to it. And the same goes with these fork front fork adjuster caps. Um... As you can see, they're silver as well. I wanted to just put some black ones on. Again, never got round to it. But the person that buys this bike will get these to go with. Because, um, you know. These are all inexpensive mods. That's one quite nice thing about the R3 is the mods aren't super expensive. Even the exhaust came to about 400 quid, I think. Whereas, if you look at like an, uh, the, the new V4 Panigale, the exhaust for that is three grand. Which is almost the price of this bike <laughs> it's ridiculous um so yeah they're, they're pretty much inexpensive all around the hundred pounds mark really um and a lot of them are less than that so that is my complete mods video it's now gotten dark and this camera's gonna die and so are my other ones as again if you have enjoyed guys hit that subscribe button and uh like it and share it with all your friends and Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram to see more pictures of the R3. Anyway guys, I will see you later. Enjoy your day. Peace out.